Now that all the subclass 3.0 reworks have been released into the game, our weapons and abilities are synergizing better than ever, especially through the implementation of different subclass verbs such as Scorch, Blind, Weaken, and many more. However, there's a whole back catalogue of exotic weapons that have fell behind as they currently don't have any synergy with our abilities. In today's video, I'm going to look at some different exotic weapons that could really shine by giving them access to the new subclass 3.0 verbs, as they're called. Let's start with Arc Exotics, as Arc 3.0 had its rework released this season. Symmetry is an Arc Rapid Fire Scout Rifle that with precision hits build up charge for its Revolution Fire Mode, allowing you to fire Arc Seekers. A potential update for this weapon would be for when you gain maximum stacks of dynamic charge but don't swap to the alternate fire mode that the weapon gains intrinsic volt shot until we change fire modes. This would allow you to apply jolt to certain enemies before swapping to the Arc Seeker mode. Cloud Strike is the rapid fire arc sniper rifle. Multiple precision hits create a large thunderstorm at target's location for insane damage and add clear. I think in addition to this, the Cloud Strike should have a chance to create ionic traces without needing the spark of discharge fragment in use. This would mean targets killed by the arc thunderstorm can produce ionic traces. Queenbreaker's Bow is an arc linear fusion rifle that's long since fell from the meta. I actually forgot that this can intrinsically blind targets so my suggestion is to allow Queen Breaker to create blinding explosions by killing blinded targets the exact same way that the Spark of Brilliance fragment works, without actually needing to equip it. I do also think this should probably get moved to the energy slot, let me know in the comments below what you think. Next up, let's take a look at some solar exotics. Starting with Merciless, the solar high impact fusion rifle. Its exotic perk in Petus grants bonus damage for a short while upon reloading after a kill. As a simple suggestion, I think with this perk active, the weapon can also now apply Scorch to targets while Impetus is active, giving you a short window to create those spicy ignitions. Tiku's Divination, the Solar Bow, has the exotic intrinsic Sacred Flame. Hip firing the bow fires Seekers to mark targets, killing these marked targets causing them to explode. A good update to this perk would be to turn those explosions into incandescent explosions, spreading Scorch and ignitions everywhere, making this a top add clear option. The exotic high impact solar scout rifle Polaris Lance has its exotic perk the perfect fifth which loads a delayed solar explosive round after four precision hits. This one was a huge missed opportunity for solar 3.0 and I'd love to see the explosions itself have incandescent intrinsically or through its catalyst. Finally let's look at some void 3.0 weapon ideas. Ruinous Evigy is the exotic void trace rifle. Killing a target spawns a small orb relic you can use in a manner of different ways. This became more of a meme exotic more than anything, so my suggestion today brings it into the endgame. So the idea I have today is, depending how you use the orb, you can apply different void debuffs to targets. Light attacks suppress enemies, heavy attacks can weaken enemies, and using the guard function activates devour on a successful drain kill. Finally, throwing a projectile gives a repulsor brace over shield and weakens the target briefly. Telesto is a resident problem child exotic, causing more bugs than has been worth at some points in time. It's still a really fun fusion rifle to use in regular content, so I'd love to see if Bungie could add one of the Void 3.0 utilities to it, but I've decided why not, as an experiment, let you guys leave a comment below on how they could rework this. Finally, I want to throw a quick honourable mention to the Borealis Exotic Sniper Rifle. It can swap between all three of the elements and I've seen it widely suggested, why not let it access Blinding for Arc, Volatile for Void and Incandescent for Solar Mode whenever you proc the Ionic Trace round into the mag. This could be a major facelift for this long since forgotten exotic. Anyway, that's all for today. There's a lot of our exotics in the game that could use subclass 3.0 treatment, so why not again leave us a comment below if you have any cool suggestions. Be sure to hit the thumbs up and a subscription for more Destiny 2 content, and I'll see you in the next one.